Well, there's absolutely no wind. It's 38 degrees in the boat. Uh, God knows why that side on your skin. So I have created my own Bedouin tent in the cockpit. Uh, so the sun is just not coming in at all. Now I'll cover the end. Of, but uh, the only way to stay cool here, there is another yacht, another crazy fool trying to get anywhere at all. It's the middle of the pig there. You can see the difference between the horizon and the right in the middle of the screen now. Got it sails up to, but motoring. Uh, yeah. And this is why. Not a ripple. Not a ripple. Even the swell has gone down. I mean, it's just absolutely nothing. For the uh, second day, blew for about an hour this morning, thinking, yeah, north. Eight knots, and then nothing. Put my engine on, so I've lost my tuner. They uh, obviously think engine, fishing boat, net. So as soon as I put it on, they kind of scarred, which is a shame. My only friends in the middle of this sea desert nothing just absolutely nothing. beautiful beautiful colored sea so just not a ribble not a ribble I guess from his direction he's I'm heading for Catalonia now. Uh, 128 miles and uh, probably be staying under my Bedouin tent <laughs> for the entire time. Just so hot. you notice I have a habit of when there's no wind instead of leaving the sail up flapping I kind of put the preventer on it and I uh, I almost well I do I back it onto the windward side so it stays full rather than flapping all the time I'm sure it gives it some drive or at least it stops it rattling. If I put that midships, it would just be flapping like this. So I just use my preventer, pull it out, and it does stays. You'd almost think it's full of wind, but it's not. It's just back, but rather than flapping, it might be full of wind if this thing's just not a mirage. Now, so update 10 minutes later, nothing. I mean, a few ripples here, but it's just nothing. Bergy hasn't moved, just a, a mirage, clearly. Okay, back to my uh, tent. Uh, I ran the motor yesterday, 2 o'clock till 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, that's the hottest time of the day so at least there's some breeze over the boat and then seven o'clock big fat zero and i think i ghosted all night out a knot so you just can't uh you need to put that engine on two to seven i mean you just need wind over you and the boat it just gets too damn hot so so same again i'm hoping tomorrow maybe 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 there's some northerly winds which will just get me the last 
hundred odd miles, 120. Wow. Yes, please. But it's very quiet here. Nothing but the sails flapping a little. Southwest, three knots. There's been no wind today. We are ghosting along. That's all there is. I guess if you're doing Atlantic or Pacific, you can't fire up the engine. And I've done enough of that, five or six hours a day, but you know, this is how passage making is going to feel. On a longer basis, then let's have an idea what it feels like. Absolutely nothing out here. Just, uh, me in the boat basically. I don't check how far it is to go now. <laughs> it's too miserable. Um, there's 18 degrees longitude, then 19, then 20. 20 is Cephalonia. I don't know where I am on the chart now. I've stopped marking it. Um, baking hot today. Again, under my little uh, Bedouin tent. Much cooler. Um, so doing about a knot and a half but that's it then you know so be it uh, so uh, another night uh, end of our third day start of our third night crossing nothing past me last night apart from a fishing boat really close about 100 meters away moving about the same speed as me um, I must think they're all sleeping on board or something, so yeah, that is port light. My port light, so he drifted by, and that was about it. Uh, fish have gone. They came back for a little while before, but now they've uh, taken off. I don't know where tuna go at night, if not under a boat, so I bet they'll be back in the morning. Uh, and Friday tomorrow, so as far as I uh, remember, uh, there was forecast. <laughs> yes, uh, some northerly. Uh, so we shall see. Uh, uh, I have enough fuel to motor a uh, hundred miles, or, or enough fuel left to motor a hundred miles. So once I get, once it says 98, 97 miles, I'll give up on the how it feels making passage with no wind for three days and uh, fire up the engine because uh, I'm getting pretty short on uh, everything basically um, all fed up with the same thing I mean how many months can you have ham and eggs uh, so yep another night let's hope there's a little night breeze springs up from somewhere other than that uh, yes I shall see you on the start of the fourth day So while there's no wind, let me show you my chart, as sad as it is with uh, position. So here's the uh, 24th of June, and uh, here's my route, uh, as we're here. So here's 10 o'clock, uh, 8th of July, and we're getting, well, either uh, Corfu, fine, I'll be fine. 
lacquer, beautiful, uh, or uh, lab cast, uh, Kefalodia, Zakynthos. Uh, here's my range, depending on what the weather's doing. It's blown hard from north, I can come from the south, don't really matter. So this is 24th of June and 8th of July, so God, I don't know what's that, like, uh, yeah, 14 days. Now I anchored, this was a great place, uh, Faviana, stayed there for two nights. Uh, anchored uh, here in Gaia for one night and anchored for another night up here in uh, ugh, the horrible Augusta Bay. Really uh, not nice. And I was blowing off a bit here with that northerly wind and then that wasn't a bad day. I thought hey, but uh, all came to a grinding cult. So that's my uh, that's the map down from uh, Sardinia all the way down. Faviana, that was really nice. That's worth stopping there. The rest of the coast, really, there are just nowhere to stop. Marinas are pretty horrible. Went into Masala for some fuel. Ugh, really not nice. Uh, just big bays, so you know anything with any south in, you're just not protected at all. It's a big rolly night, as I've had around the corner, and then. Um, there's all the oil refineries and that was Augusta and that's when I left so I left uh, 8 o'clock so I'm all alone here in the silence <laughs> this is just me the sunset and five tuna. I've also got two lows on board the boat. Am I Jesus reborn? <laughs> Am I just going crazy? Probably that. But hey, nice little sunset. Well away from the madding crowd. For the moment. Well, it's that time of day. Uh, coming into my end of my fourth day. Going into my fourth uh, overnight. Uh, Sun's going down again, so what do we got? We've had a very mild six, seven knot uh, westerly, kind of blowing all day, mercifully. Uh, so I've been uh, not my favourite uh, point of sail, but uh, boat likes it with its long keel. Just been goose winging all day. Uh, east. We're about uh, 82 miles away from, uh, decided to go to Angostoli, that's how you pronounce it, in uh, Catalonia. So if this keeps up tonight, haven't used the engine at all today, mercifully, so uh, if this keeps up tonight, that will be, uh, that'll be good. Another 20 miles through the night and in the morning, then, uh, I don't know, 60 miles away. So I... I uh, will be in sometime tomorrow night, hell or high water. Um, I'll just put the engine on if there's no wind and do a bit of motoring. I did nothing today, uh, absolutely nothing around, absolutely nothing, 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 nothing. It's not a bird, it's not a boat, and even my tuna, only one turned up this morning, so they are there. The other four have either found another boat to shelter under or they've been eaten. Hopefully not. So, uh, last night to night. 
because uh, no more night sails will be my fifth night sail or fifth night sailing um, many night sails uh, in the last few months but um, I'll be in uh, the Greek islands tomorrow so nothing but gentle day sails and an anchorage at night and be able to go ashore for all the provisions our boy needs so I'm looking forward to that do my PCR when I get there get my stamp in and bam bam So we're on the ferry leaving Luxori, going across to uh, Argostoli. Boat is just there, tucked in the corner, little yellow dinghy. And you know what the boat looks like from now. It's nice to see the port from a different aspect. About a half an hour ferry ride. Uh, I'm gonna spend all day here rebittling the boat, water, fuel, uh, ice, blah blah, usual stuff, and then head off to Sakinthos, Polypinesis, and on and on.